Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceAutoStore.com. This is the Factory 5 Racing 65 Coupe. So this will be our, I'm going to say second last video probably. Um, in a previous video, we did a walk around on the car where we talked about the features of it. We had the hood uh, open, we showed you the glass and so on, ready for delivery. There's two things I neglected or forgot to mention in the previous video. Um, and it's something that I like, it's not probably for everyone. Uh, but I just wanted to point it out because it's something that's quite a bit, uh, quite different or unique for this car. So the normal 65 coupe has the normal sealed beams and then the race car had uh, two bulbs up here. One was a marker and one was a signal. Um, so you drill holes here into the panels and you would have um, lights in there. Um, I thought it would be a cleaner look to leave this natural not have the lens. It's still an option to put the covered lens on. Um, but what we did is we, we were able to find these really nice, uh, they're an aftermarket headlight, they're brighter than normal, and then you can see down here in the bottom section, um, we have the amber and that's for the indicator. So instead of having a little tiny signal bulb here built in the body or coming out of the body, uh, we have it streamlined inside as part of the sealed beam. And we also have a signal light um, a switch um, and it's aftermarket so instead of having just a toggle switch from the factory 5 racing where you click it for left or right we have an actual stainless steel and it uh, corrects with the steering wheel like a modern car and I'll just share that with you in a moment so with the signal light switch it's very similar to what you'd be used to now in terms of driving so we've added that which is an enhancement uh, to the factory 5 kit car the other thing I'd like to point out um, is the lower section here with the air dam or spoiler part of the nose. And you can see the, the opening down here with these lights. Hopefully the camera person can get those. Um, so these we purchased from another source. Um, the lights that are available through Factory 5 I think are roughly um, 3 inches. And the hole is 5 and a quarter. So in, in a very early video, when we were doing the dry fitting of the car, we had an auxiliary light, we kind of set it in there, but in my opinion, it's way too small for the opening. And if you look at any pictures online of the actual race car, the light was larger, it basically filled that hole. So we did quite a bit of research, we were able to locate an aftermarket uh, supplier, and they're a true uh, five inch uh, outside diameter um, headlight assembly or fog light assembly. So what we've done is we've set, had, um, wired them up on a separate toggle switch. So here in Ontario, uh, we have a daytime running light um, implication or, or legality. So instead of having to try to remember to turn the lights on and off or to modify the switch, I thought it was a much cleaner look just to have these set up. So there's still a toggle that can be shut off but we're using these as the daytime running light and they're hooked up directly to the key for power. So as soon as the key is in the on position, then these lights will come on. So what I'm gonna do is I'll just, um, I apologize, I'm gonna go turn the key to power on. The electric fuel pump is gonna run. So, um, but what we'll do is I just like to show you how uh, the headlights look and the signals built in and then I'll turn these fog lights on and off just to show you the appearance. Because I think it's a nice little enhancement it will take away, if you're trying to keep it original, like the Shelby Daytona race car, obviously you wouldn't do this option. Um, but it's just something a little bit different and unique. So I'll just turn the key and we'll show you the, uh, the signals and the uh, fog light. Okay, so obviously that's the driver's side. And then the passenger side. And then we have our normal high for uh, our normal lights there. And then um, we have our fog light switch down below. That work? So you can see the lights there now. You're not on. Oh, so you got the So they're on now. Yes. So, sorry, with the, um, we have to label these switches. So, with the key in the on position, you can see those driving lights. It fills in the hole nicely, I think. It's nice and clean looking. Um, and then having the little signal light built in the sealed beam, I think, is just a nice, clean little touch. And then we shut that key off. 
So if the client goes somewhere and has the key or if it's running and he doesn't want, for example, a drive-in theater, let's say, there's an override switch to shut those fog lights off. So I neglected to mention those in that other video. So uh, I thank you for watching. I'm John from LastChanceAutoStore.com.